Hello again everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and I got an update for you on the Gato project. I hope you enjoy. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot different than it did uh, the last time that you guys saw it. Uh, all of the paint is on, all of the weathering is complete. I have installed the uh, weapons, the deck guns and the anti-aircraft guns. Uh, just give you a little bit of a close up here. Really some light weathering on the boat just to, to kind of replicate, you know, at the end of a, of a long sea campaign, uh, but certainly not out there for an extended period of time. So the paint scheme um, on these Gato boats, there, apparently there was a ton of variation and then the skippers uh, made a lot of decisions about how to paint the boats. But this is a classic rendition. It's flat black. Uh, on the bottom section and light gray on the top. Uh, typically the decking was painted with a you know a non-skid coating that was like gloss black and I weathered that out so that some of the wood color uh, is exposed in there. Installed some rigging. Uh, I used Stretch Magic one millimeter thread uh, for that. It's typically used in like bead jewelry and that kind of thing, but it works perfect for rigging for these bigger scale U-boats because it's got stretch to it so it maintains tension. Uh, I really, really like that. So where we're at right now, this thing is going to see my uh, test tank, the swimming pool, to finish out the trimming. Uh, I do have a bunch of foam already installed there because I did some preliminary stuff with it before I put the paint on. So this afternoon, we'll get this thing wet, get it trimmed out, and if everything looks good, maybe tomorrow uh, we will see it in the pond for her maiden voyage. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. We will catch you next time.